Hey guys, how are you doing? Hope you guys are having a really good week so far. Uh, yeah, like, a good way to end the week. It's a Friday, so, um, just so you know, I'm kind of shocked that I'm making two videos in one week now. Usually, I was able to pound out three, but I guess that's not happening anymore. But, hey, I managed to post one up now, because I got a class canceled, so I figured, why not? Just make a short video really quick, and be done for the day. Alright, so, today my video is going to be a recap and review of Mortal Kombat Legacy Episode 1. I know this already came out a while back, but I had it in my planner to do this, and I'm kind of, I stick to my planner really well, so this is what I have to do, this is what I'm going to do. So, the Mortal Kombat Legacy Episode 1 recap and review. Okay, so Mortal Kombat Legacy is the highly anticipated animated web, not animated, yeah. It's a highly anticipated web series based off the Mortal Kombat video game series. It's a live action web series, which, you know, let's face it, the two previous live action Mortal Kombat outings, which consisted of two movies, were off, just plain awful. I mean, the first one was, uh, it's so bad, it's good. The second one was just, it's, it was bad. Like, you know, Legacy kind of returns the series to its, like, turns the live act, takes the live action series and kind of it turns it to its more violent, gritty roots, which is perfect, you know? While we don't have people getting punched once in the face and, like, five gallons of blood just, like, go, Bleh, you know? We don't see that happen. you know, we don't see that happening. It's still extremely gritty and still extremely violent, which is what Mortal Kombat is. So, in this first episode, we see Sonya Blade, who is played by Jerry Ryan. Uh, for you Trekkies out there, Jerry Ryan played uh, Seven of Nine. In a Star Trek, in a Star Trek uh, Voyager, uh, you know, she she sends Jax, played by Michael Jai White, and Stryker, played by Tamo Painticket something. I can't really pronounce that name. I'm sorry if I butchered that. Uh, sends an information that Kano, who's played by Darren Shahalavi, like oh, I'm just horrible with names today. Um, Stolen top secret robotics parts, which kind of resemble Cyrax and stuff like that. So, for you Mortal Kombat geeks out there, um, Stryker and Jax send <clears throat> a rescue team because uh, because Sonya Blade ends up getting kidnapped by Kano. So, Stryker and Jax send a res like go on a rescue mission, and uh, which kind of like kind of ends in a in a huge fist fight between Jax and Kano. Yeah, let me start by originally like. Okay, when we saw, let me be honest, when we saw the Rebirth trailer back in 2009, it was, you know, like, it, it was awesome, like, it was awesome, it was gritty, it was violent, it was everything that Mortal Kombat hasn't been. So, which is great, you know, which I love incredibly, so I'm really glad that that's happened, and, you know, but then when I heard that, it's like, okay, we, everyone thought, oh, awesome, they're gonna make a new movie, and it's gonna be awesome. It's like, okay, they're, they're trying to make a web series, and I was like, what? So originally I had my doubts about a web series, you know, no doubt, no offense to internet people, I've really seen some high quality stuff on the internet, but it just, I feel like with the internet, it's like, since they're distributing it on YouTube, you know, it's just how are they going to make money off of that? How are they going to make a profit off of that, you know? I just, it seems like it's going to be resulting in not so great acting and so-so production values and stuff like that, but they actually... I was pleasantly surprised. This was really good. Uh, it was a little bit too talky. I mean, I've never wanted to complain about, you know, words and dialogue and stuff like that. But the thing is, with Mortal Kombat, you don't play Mortal Kombat for a story, you know? I mean, there's probably people who do, and no offense to you, but I know I don't play Mortal Kombat to play the story. I play Mortal Kombat to, you know, you know, beat the living crap out of people and, you know do awesome fatalities, you know? That's the reason why I play Mortal Kombat, but no offense to anyone who plays Mortal Kombat like that, it's just normally most people don't play Mortal Kombat for story, so this, this one being a little bit more story intensive this episode was kind of a drag, I mean the action is great when it picks up, so like, you know, and uh, I already saw the second episode, I'm going to do a review of that later on, so probably in a few days. Uh, I haven't watched the, Glee, the new Glee yet, so I'm hopefully going to do a review of that soon. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to give mo this Mortal Kombat episode a 10 out of 10. You know, great way to start off the series. And I can't, you know, I saw the second episode, I thought that was really awesome, and I can't wait for the third. Excuse me. So, yeah, um, my next video is going to be one of, uh, 
Nowhere Boy, which is the John, which is the movie based on John Lennon. And uh, I'll try to post it up as soon as I can, probably sometime next week or so, you know? Alright guys, I will uh, talk to you later then. Uh, this is probably record for my shortest video in like, for the past three or four videos now. And um, yeah, so I will talk to you guys later. Alright, peace. Have a good weekend.